have to have that support behind you in some way, shape, or form. It could be one person, it could be 10 people. But I think you definitely need the people there technically, emotionally, to really help you because it's a, it's a long road and it's a grind. The first person that was my mentor would be my mom. You know, she was there every step of the way. Even though I was the youngest of five, um, I felt like there was plenty of time always for me to, to, for her to come watch the lesson or two that I had a week. I didn't have a lot of lessons in the beginning because there wasn't a lot of money to go around for five, for five kids. But she was there being supportive, always being positive, taking me to the tournaments, um, trying to be analytical about tennis. She grew to be a student of the game and tried to help me that way. Then looking back on my two coaches, I think I was very lucky that they came in that order. First, Vic Brady, fun. Just always laughing, always trying to make kids have a have a good time on the court. And I started with Vic when I was two, three years old. And it wasn't about technique, it was about how many balls you can get over. Let's play another game. Let's balance the ball on the racket. All about fun. And that's what you want to do in the beginning so that you get the hook, so that the kid wants to come back and play tennis. At seven, Vic moved away and Robert Landsdorf came to our club. Now he is a taskmaster, master. He Coach four number ones, myself, Lindsay Davenport, Pete Sampras, and Maria Sharapova. So thank goodness he didn't come first because I would have never continued to play the game. <laughs> but he worked right into my personality. I am an extremely hard worker and I push myself and he pushed myself. He pushed me, um, always pushing for more. You know, if you get seven out of 10, I know you can get nine out of 10. He even had this crazy thing that he, when he played against us, he'd cheat us. You know, if I was winning, he'd call the score that he was winning because he thought it would make us mentally tougher. He'd call balls that were a foot in, he'd call them out. And you'd get so mad, but you knew he wasn't gonna change, so you just had to get tougher and try to win the next point. Not suggested that you cheat kids, but it seemed to work because I think I was mentally tough when I was born, but he, I think, was the right coach for me at the right time. 